So hello YouTubers, uh, today I want to make a video uh, about the pyramids. Uh, I've got two pyramids here. Uh, I've got a good one, the Lydiard Pyramid and the Pyramid of Ignorance. So uh, so first we're going to go for the Pyramid of Ignorance. Now this pyramid is uh, very uh, popular among noobs, certain athletic clubs, uh, personal trainers. And uh, well, first we're just going to go through the pyramid first. So for the intervals, um, the intervals of the base, that makes up like your 1k repeats, your uh, 5k pace, 800 meter repeats, something like that. Um, so yeah, this is fast as fuck. It will hurt like shit, especially if you don't have a base built up. Uh, so speed, uh, sprinting, not quite sprinting, like, um, just be like uh, 800, 500 stuff. This is what you do like towards the end of the season to peak for a race normally, but not in this pyramid. This pyramid, it's, you know, it makes up quite a good bit of your mileage all year round. And now the least important part of this pyramid of ignorance is uh, your threshold or your tempo runs. So um, this would be like your tempo runs, which would be like your half marathon pace, 30 seconds per mile slower than your uh, 5k race pace. Uh, so that always make up a small bit of your mileage, like maybe your warm ups, your cool downs. Uh, you know, maybe at the odd day where you do a threshold run, but you know, you, it, only t you don't need to do too much of it because, you know, it's slow. And uh, you know, uh, base aerobic mileage, no way, no, you're not doing that in this uh, pyramid because you know, long slow runners make long slow runners, you don't be doing that. So now we're on to the Lydiard program. Uh, so this is the pyramid that will lead to success. So here we go uh, base mileage, this makes up the, um, uh, the bulk of your mileage, uh, like 80 85% maybe. Uh, so this would be this build up your aerobic fitness, like you, you can go into the runner's world training calculator online. And it uh, should be about, say, uh, 130 per mile slower than your uh, 5k race pace. So, you know, that's, you know, a lot of people say you should go slower than that, but, you know, I think that's a good pace to run at. So your tempo or your threshold running. So as I mentioned in the previous one, this is like your, um, around your um, half marathon pace, 30 seconds per mile slower than your 5k pace. So, yeah, there's still very much endurance work here. But uh, at the same time, it does work your anaerobic fitness a little bit. Uh, so we're into our intervals now. Just be making up the sessions. So uh, 1k repeats, 800s, you know, around 5k pace, something like that. So yeah, once you got a bit of good base built up, you start doing that uh, fairly often. And now the last one, which is um, any personal trainer would disagree with this, I'm sure, because they know what they're talking about. Uh, race specific work or speed. So uh, actually, I think it's like faster than uh, race specific. This is like um, peaking for a race. So it's the Lydia program. So the choice is yours. Which do you do? Do you go down the pyramid of ignorance, which leads to burnout, fatigue, failure, depression, uh, injuries, uh, getting worse? Or do you go down the path of success, which is the Lydia pyramid?